In this video, we're going to answer the question, what's a good business to start? Coming up. Hi guys, Jan here and welcome back to The Present. And today, we're going to answer the question coming from Ping, which is, what's a good business to start right now? All right, so if you want to have a business, again, in any kind of business, you always have to consider a lot of things. You consider marketing, you consider sales, you also have to consider operations and accounting and all these kind of things, right? It depends on what kind of business you're going to have because in every kind of business, it depends on um, what kind of operations you need to un understand and what kind of marketing efforts that you need to do. But at the, at the end of the day, it all boils down to how you're going to manage the business. Now, question is, the question is, what's a good business to start? And you already have the skill sets, you, have, you already have the things that you need to consider. Well, top of mind, I could think about online business. When you talk about online business, there's what you call, a lot, there's a lot of online businesses. We are into that as well, actually. Well, number one is you can try like drop shipping. So the concept of drop shipping is from the word drop shipping. You're, you technically have a supplier and then you, all you have to do is get their products and then you market products after you market the products, they can sell it to the market and then they're going to buy it. So they're going to deliver it directly to the customer and you get a commission. That's it. So it's like you're the marketing arm of, those, of that company to the customer. You, you earn money. It's a business. There are a lot of people actually doing this. Okay, That's number one. Number two, you can also try logistics. Logistics is a good business. The problem is it has a lot of capitalization. So you have to consider capitalization as well. But the good thing about logistics is that it's a logistical nightmare for most people and for most businesses. So if you're going to solve that problem, you will get paid with a very good price. Because in, in any business, the, the bigger the problem that you're going to solve for them, the bigger money that you're going to, that you're going to get, right? So the harder the problem is, and that's the solution that you can offer to them, then you have more edge. So that's logistics. Number three, you can also try coffee shops and milk tea, milk tea shops, okay? So it's dominant here in the city that we're, where I'm living in. Maybe it's going to be dominant in your case, but here's what I noticed. In terms of coffee shops and milk tea shops and co-working spaces, they are treating it as a working area. So that means people are going there to order some coffee, to order some meals, and then they're going to stay there for four hours, three hours, or even more for them to work. They need internet. The reason why they went to your store is because they need the internet for them to work. So uh, this is also because they don't have good internet in their house and they also want to work elsewhere and that elsewhere is the milk tea shop and coffee shops and then they're going to work over there because all they need is a computer and an internet that's it right so the moment they can connect to the internet they are doing their work so if you can provide the platform if you can provide the location which is a coffee shop and milk tea shop or a co-working space it's the third one you can technically um, solve a problem for them right number four is this is one of the things that, that I really really like is you can create a brand right this is how we started when we started the present it is a brand by the way I am NOT the present it's an entity that we created for you so that you, this is like a company technically we are the ones who's running it but we are not the present do you get this so the good thing about having a brand is that when you think about Nike, when you think about Adidas, when you think about Starbucks, when you think about Under Armour, you know, all these um, brands, Apple, you, you believe in the brand. It has a strong position in the marketplace. So the reason why you want to buy their products is because of how good it is and how durable it is, how great the brand is. And it is also a representation of who you are, right? So when you like Nike, when you buy Nike shoes, 
it's like people think that you you like to be athletic or you want those shoes because you are an athletic person it's the same thing with adidas when you buy coffee from starbucks you believe in customer service because starbucks for me it is one of the best epitome of of a customer service business right they really are good in terms of customer service they 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 know you even if they don't have to but they try to connect a connection with you uh, to build a connection with you so that when you see each other elsewhere like in the malls they can still have a connection with you right so the point of that is when you create a brand it's like building your Starbucks it's like building your Nike it's like building your Under Armour it's like building your Apple people want to connect with you people want to do business with you not just because you have a great product not just because of of what kind of service that you're offering to the market but because of what the brand is about you get this so it's like it's like they want to connect with you because they want to be associated with you because of who you are not just what you do get this that's the personal brand and number five which is the very common thing in terms of any business this is how like we usually start and that's trading trading buy and sell you may be trading stocks you may be trading like um pers like products or even services right so the good thing about trading is that the money is fast in terms of growth and the money is also fast when it when it comes to let's say if you're gonna lose right when you buy something it's not a guarantee that you're going to sell it it's not a guarantee that there's a customer or there's a market for it okay so when you buy like for example a phone like this and you're planning to sell it to the marketplace there's a chance that when you bought buy this let's say it's a thousand dollars and then you're going to sell it at the thousand one hundred dollars it's not a guarantee that someone's gonna buy it so you cannot consider it as a profit yet because someone didn't buy it the, the phone but what if one thousand dollars someone all, all like bought this you already have one thousand one hundred dollars and one hundred dollars is your profit so it's very fast but and the same on the and like at the opposite side of the spectrum it's like the same thing so for example you buy this it's a thousand dollars but after a year nobody bought it so you are forced to sell this product at a lower cost at, at a lower price so let's say nine hundred dollars someone's going to buy someone's gonna buy it and then you lost a hundred dollars you get this so trading or buy and sell is fast but it also has a lot of risk it depends on how you're going to market it to the marketplace you get this so ping if you're listening to this video there are five things that I could think of in terms of having a business so online business logistics um, you can also have your personal brand trading and I forgot the other one that I mentioned <laughs> so those are the five things that you're going that you're going to uh, try it out all right so question of the day in your own opinion in your own ideas what's a good business to start right now let us help each other out so that we can expand our ideas let us know in the comment section and please do not forget to subscribe if this video added any value to you and hit the no notification bell so that every time we put up new videos you will get notified so thank you and see you on the next video